What's up, Junpei? So, uh, exams are coming up pretty soon. Have you been studying? I mean, you weren't there last night, but, uh, yeah. <sighs> oh, yeah? Well, not that's any of my business. Ooh, dude, what's up with that? Here we go. Finally, we reached uh, we reached Tiara no Masakoto. He he's he's the turning point of the era of the samurai. It all began with the infighting among the Tiara, uh, Tyra clan. Uh, their conflict escalated until the imperial court had to intervene. Masakoto was uh, pursued by the imperial court, so he had no choice but to openly oppose them. The result was known as the War of Masakado. I'm so... Jusho, uh, you may not uh, look like a samurai, but let's see if you know this one anyway. The theory that uh, Tyra no Masakado, uh thought of a prototype for an item essential to battle. Now, uh, what do you think it, that item was? It was something every samurai needs. I mean, is it the katana or... The armor. I'm pretty sure it's the katana because basing off, uh, you know, the persona that we've seen like throughout the series and you know the demons and SMT. Pretty sure it's the katana, right? So let's go with that. Yes, exactly. Knew that one already, huh? Yep, it's the katana. Think of samurai and their swords are the first things that come to mind. Although it's not known whether Masakado really came up with them. This is where this is going to be on the exam next week. So be well, so prepare well. Let's skip forward a little bit to the Kamakura era. Ah, alas, I can feel them on their way. The samurai are almost here. In 1185, the Kamakura Shogunate was established. Yes, we're there. And of course, its founder was Minamoto no Yoritomo. I can't believe we finally made it. We finally made it. Answer correctly. Yeah. Give me more charm. Oh. Oh. Today's up, I love it, I just noticed. <laughs> it's a message from Sonata. Kiski son is coming tonight. Sounds like he has something to tell us. We'll be on the fourth floor once we're all back. Okay, thank goodness I was like, oh please let me do something. All right, so Sumitsu, please let me see. If, uh. Dang it. Dang it, we were so close to leveling up. Oh, but we do have something here. Uh, it's gonna be shown. Uh, who? Oh no, no way. Uh, I was looking <laughs> for Island versus Gekukon. My bad, it's, it's, it's the cat. <laughs> It's like, wait, oh, we have something? We, we can do the CD thing? No, no, no. Alright, cat. More cat food. <clears throat> Alright, we're, we're gonna need even more food. But man, like, even though, you know, we had, uh, you no. Know, Guru Lu, uh, in our party, you know. Hey, we still need more, uh, you know, more points for him. <clears throat> Hopefully, we can do this Monday. We're having one big sale today. You made up your mind. That's all you. Thanks. You got everything you need. Thanks. All right. So there's that. Probably tonight after, you know, meeting with the Kuski, it's probably like, hey, let's, how about everyone, you know, we study together and all that junk, right? Alright, dude, uh, just, uh, hang out. 
You know, one more and then we're done here. <clears throat> so what does Iguski want from us? And that's the summary of what happened on the night of the 7th. These shadows seem to be quite a bit more formidable than the ordinary ones. I see. So our enemies are growing stronger as well. Well, it's not all bad news. In fact, I called today's meeting because... Hold on. Before we go on, I'd like to ask Kirijo senpai something. Oh? I know I'm not the only one thinking this. So much has been happening lately. I feel like I've just been getting dragged along without really understanding anything. But now, I want answers. So I'm gonna ask you straight out. You've been hiding something from us, haven't you, Senpai? You're always acting like you don't know anything about the Dark Hour or Tartarus. But they're connected to that accident ten years ago, aren't they? <laughs> what accident? Yukari-chan? There was an explosion near our school and a lot of people died. It must have been big news back then. You know about it, don't you? Yes. Luckily, no students were injured. But something is off here. At the time of the incident, there were several unexplained absences. Seems like more than just a coincidence to me. What do you mean? Well, I dug up some old school records and found something interesting. Those students weren't just absent. They all suddenly collapsed and had to be sent to the hospital. Sounds familiar, doesn't it? Remember those girls who bullied Fuka? They had to be hospitalized too. <laughs> I want an explanation. What really happened on the day of that accident? The Kirijo group built our school, so you have to know something. Tell me the truth. I wasn't trying to hide anything from you, it just never seemed relevant. But... It's okay. It's not your fault. All right. I'll tell you everything. Shadows have many mysterious abilities. Some research indicates they can even affect time and space. We think of them as our enemies, but what if we could somehow use them to our advantage? They could be a source of unimaginable power, couldn't they? What? Fourteen years ago, one man pursued that very line of thinking. He was the former leader of the Kirijo group, Koetsu Kirijo. My grandfather. Oh, anime cutscene. My grandfather was obsessed with the shadows. Oh, is this the first time we've seen him? He wanted to harness their power to create something extraordinary. Oh. Create something extraordinary? To that end, he assembled a research team and had them amass a number of shadows. He was collecting them? Damn, that's freaking crazy. But ten years ago, during the final stages of the project, there was an accident. Ooh. And the experiment failed. They lost control of the Shadow's power, altering the nature of the entire world. And hence the Dark Hour? You can't mean... Yes. Tartarus and the Dark Hour. According to the records, the accumulated mass of shadows split into several large ones that later dispersed. These are the shadows we've been encountering on nights when the moon is full. 
so I'm just wondering, like, well, what's been happening, you know, for the past couple of years then? It's been 14 years, like she said. So they just been rampaging, you know, all about, you know, uh, all around, you know, GetCon, uh, Tessimi, Port Island, you know, this whole entire time for 14 years? Maybe that's why it's difficult to predict where they'll appear. I mean, it's not really hard to predict now that we know it's only on the full moons, but I feel like, you know, if they've been around for 14 years, they would have pick it, picked it up that, huh, you know, like all these certain circumstances, you know, when they appear, like, oh, look, that giant full moon sky. Oh, hey, look, there's that giant shadow that, you know, that's been running around. Yeah, totally, they're not related at all. They totally never came out, you know, on a, you know, half moon or a new moon or anything like that. Only on that full moon, right? Hmm. Wait a minute. If what you said is true, then why did our school turn into Tartarus? Don't tell me. Is it because that's where they conducted the experiment? Yes. Than those students who were hospitalized. It's just as you fear. So with the students who hospitalized the either So would they turn from the shadows? Turn into shadows or attack by shadows? It was a highly populated area, and the Kirijo group had influence there. They could essentially do as they pleased. Port Island must have been the perfect location for them. So, yes, as you guessed, the experiment ten years ago was conducted at Gekokan High School. Just what are you trying to say here? So that's the whole purpose behind Seas? We were dragged into all this just to clean up their mess? You lied to us? <laughs> and you knew too, didn't you, Sonata Senpai? You've both just been using us! Or do you not care as long as you're the one who gets to do the fighting? Oh. <laughs> I never said anything like that. I have my reasons. And the reasons are, you know, since we're all, you know, getting it off our chests. Think what you'd like, but it was my decision not to share the information. I'm sorry. It was never my intent to deceive you. Convincing you to join Seas was my highest priority. I know it may not be fair. But shadows can only be defeated by Persona users. We are the only ones who can fight. Okay. So throughout the entire 14 years, it only took up till now to finally have the capabilities to fight the shadows. There were no Persona users sent within those 14 years to get rid of those shadows. Absolutely none at all. You really got to think about this. Like, how, how much were they, you know, attempting to try to find, you know, more Persona users? That's hardly the point. I never had a choice either. It didn't matter if I wanted this power or not. I... Mitsuru, that's enough. Takebakun. It's only those in the past who are to blame. And they lost their lives as a result of what they did. We're all in the same boat here. None of us deserve the burden that's been thrust upon us. Yeah, but it should also be, you know... It should have been told to everyone right from the get-go. Like, as soon as, you know, we were joined to do this... We should be told like, hey, 
this is everything that's been happening. This is why we contacted you. This is how things happen. If you don't want to join, that's fine. You know, all that stuff. But that's... <sighs> it's been 10 years since the incident in question. No one knows why those shadows suddenly returned. Okay, 10 years ago. My bad. Four, they said 14 years ago, 10 years ago. But now that they're here, we have the chance to find and destroy them. Do you realize what that means? What if I told you that the 12 shadows are the cause of everything? You're saying if we defeat them all, Tartarus and the Dark Hour will disappear? But that is such a good line ring for Akiko. That is, mm, like, just very rare, just like, you know, like, hey, sounds, you know, the Akiko that, that should be sounding like. You're saying if we defeat them all, Tartarus and the Dark Hour will disappear? Exactly. That's what I was going to tell you earlier. See? It's good news, isn't it? Can that really be true? There's evidence to support it. And this is where our true battle begins. Our true battle. Regardless of what's happened in the past, we must fight to protect the people. The shadows are gaining strength. We can't afford to wait for them to strike first. Right. And there are still many mysteries surrounding Tartarus. For instance, why did such a gigantic structure appear in the first place? The answers must be out there somewhere. Hmm. We must defeat the 12 shadows that started all of this in order to eradicate both the Dark Hour and Tartarus. I must fight to protect everyone. Six of them remain. Oh, oh, we can still do stuff. That's good. Oh, appo appointment. Ooh. <laughs> uh, it was kind of expecting. Oh, hey, uh, we got a study group tonight, but uh, guess not. Hmm. I do want to check out that website <laughs> of talking to, to Tanaka. Just see, you know, hey, you know, uh, you know, using it and uh, get get uh, get get whatever information from here that can help us in battle. Uh, effective security measures measures online. Seems to be a website that helps uh, with training security team members. This list of self-defense videos with each with the detailed text explanation. I started to watch with the most watched video. I watched a how-to video on subduing violent individuals. I learned the importance of having the will to stand up to an enemy. Maybe I can use what I learned in our fights and Tartars. You learn how to use ambush. Oh. What's ambush? Now use ambush while exploring. While ambushing an enemy, you'll trigger chance encounters regardless of the direction enemies is facing. Ah, oh, all right, that's good. So we don't just have to face them in the back. Uh, press and hold R2 to dash for a set distance to enter the assault state. By pressing square while that in this state, you will ambush the enemy. Oh. Turning an encounter from behind will slightly increase uh, power's theurgy gauge and may distress the enemy at the beginning of battle. Oh, oh that is really cool. All right. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I'm glad I got that. So now, hey, we just get some enemies that are distressed, you know, 
get a little bit of power out of that. That's a great, great thing to, great, to get. Lounging about as usual, huh? Hmm? Q, what do you want? If you're gonna ask me to go back, the answer's still no. That's not why I'm here. I was just making sure you were still around. That's so. We've known each other a long time. It's been almost 14 years since we met at the orphanage. You, me, and Miki. We used to run around here until the sun went down. You know, now that I'm thinking about it, like... In Portable, we never really heard much of Miki. I wonder how, how that's going to change in here. Back then, it seemed like we had all the time in the world. Huh. You haven't changed one bit. If you want to get all sappy, go do it with your other pals. What was that? It's rare for you to think about the past. Usually, you just charge ahead like a damn fool. You've never been good at hiding shit. Everyone thinks about the past. Even me. Anyway, we finally know how to get rid of Tartarus in the dark hour. No shit? Yeah. The thing is, all I've cared about until now is getting stronger. Everything else came second. Yesterday, someone made me question my reason for fighting. Your reason for fighting, huh? It's different for everyone, but if you don't have a good one, you can always quit. That's what I did. I'm not like you. <laughs> Man, I can't believe I'm the one getting lectured here. <laughs> well, see you around. Hmm. You really haven't changed at all. Talk to you for a moment. Oh god, <laughs> the audio was just coming out of, out of my right ear. It's like, oh god, oh, <laughs> but that's 3D audio, right? <laughs> Senpai, please, oh, my bad. Come in. <laughs> so, not only do you excel at providing support during battle, you are also quite skilled at gathering information. And then Fuku's just like uh, her perso personality completely changes. Just like, who told you? <laughs> oh, I I'm sorry for doing that without permission. Don't worry, you're not in trouble. But I do have an important favor to ask of you. I want you to find out as much as you can about that incident 10 years ago. Oh, well, very little of that was made public. I know. That's why I want you to access the Kirijo Group's database. 
You mean hack into their system? Oh. Is that allowed? I'll give you my ID and password. Then you won't be held accountable. But I need to know the truth in detail. Senpai. Of course, I'll understand if you refuse. Okay, I'll see what I can do. Are you sure? I appreciate it. Yamagishi, aren't you resentful? Regardless of my good intentions, I did drag you into this without fully explaining. I'm sure you must have at least a few complaints. Not really. Did you know my entire family is made up of doctors? My parents are the one exception. It gives them a bit of an inferiority complex. That's why they're so hard on me. I don't like being at home. But here, I'm able to do something no one else can. I have a purpose. So no, I don't have any complaints. You're right. We can't do this without you. No one could take your place. Uh, oh! Thank you. I'll see you later. So, Tartarus in the dark hour. Are on the way out, huh? No, that's a good thing. That's what we've been fighting for. So then, why? He wants to. He wants to be like. Uh, he wants to be the hero, right? Damn it! Why am I so pissed? Gosh, it's hot, even for July. Just, I'm just looking at the Sharon Waxman. Like, is that supposed to be the the Terminator? <laughs> just, just, I've never paid attention to to the to the posters. <laughs> wow, can't believe we're already third years. Guess this will be the last time we'll wear these uniforms and hang out after school. <sighs> Who cares? I just want to get into college and start having fun already. Detonator. <laughs> a troubling trend for a Dutch. What? Craig S. Smith. Okay, th those gotta be like parody names, right? Like, it isn't like a. Uh... No, I was thinking like, oh, uh, Roger Craig Smith. <laughs> but no, no, that, that's probably something else. My problem is me. Been going on like fighting was my duty and all. Actually, it's just all I'm good at. Because without that, without that, I'm nothing. <laughs> so much for being a hero. I can't fight worth the shit anyway. Not compared to him, at least. Damn it! Nothing I do is good enough. <sighs> Why am I?
am I only ever right about the worst things? Am I stupid for trusting in something so blindly? Dad. I got this letter from you last spring. I don't think... I'm, like, trying to remember, like, I don't think, you know, that cutscene, you know, after all this and, uh, portable was, like, ever, like, this extensive. Or at least, you know, ever gone to, like, you know, what's been going on, you know, like this. I must have read it a thousand times since then. To my family, ten years into the future. Yuri! Yuri! Oh, man, I'm a boy, Yuri! Uh, I wish they got the original cast back for for reload like they did with the Japanese cast, but no, no, we've got we've got to put the, the original cast as you know side characters. No, no, uh, but I miss you, Yuri. Tomorrow, I'll bring this letter to the opening ceremony for the Moonlight Bridge. <laughs> I don't know why I was acting like <laughs> like your dad. <laughs> but, no, no. At least, at least, I hope he's not dead at, at the time of this posting. I hope not. I don't want to jinx it. No, no, please, please don't. It will be stored in a time capsule and sent to you in 10 years' time. Yukari, you may be small now, but in 10 years, you'll be 16. You'll be in high school. I know you've been sad because I have to work so late, but you always manage to greet me with a smile. I'm really proud of myself. Kirijo-san appointed me head researcher. I'll be starting on a big project soon. It feels good to receive so much recognition for my work. But I swear to you, nothing is more important to me than you and your mother. Dad. Yukari, I wonder, are you enjoying life? Do you have high hopes for the future? Do you still look towards tomorrow with excitement and wonder like you do now? No matter what happens in the next 10 years, I hope you're happy. And I hope this letter brings a smile to both you and your mother's faces. Eiichiro Takeba, March 6th, 2000. No matter what happens, huh? <sighs> All I can do is believe. <laughs> I won't turn my back. I won't be like mom. Not ever. Things coming up. Hey, it's home shopping network. Let's see what we're gonna get on the TV. Oh, we hope uh, we're coining this up because I actually just hit a button. <laughs> Just make sure, just just look at the coin. Yep, still going, still going. Yep. <laughs> it's amazing commodities. I'm going. All right. Go. What do we got? Good. Oh hey, look at that! Thank goodness, you know we have the money. Not bad, kid. It's a curry. Ooh, almost ten thousand yen. But uh, sure. We're gonna need that for for the quest. See how how fast we're just losing money. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye. Uh, 
All right, so that's that. Uh, what we got here? Maya, I'm pretty sure we, we should hang out with Maya. Oh, oh, we got to do some Mitsu. And also we should take care of that. Oh, uh, yep, he is ready for... Wait, we got something else here? Hmm. Alright, let's just do this. <clears throat> Alright. Oh, it's cool. Nice. Right. Well, that's some of that. But definitely per protector. Alright, put up here, go to the mall. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, come on. Oh, we can't just buy, buy the soundtrack here? Oh, well. Well, uh... We did that done, so let's just uh do the request. Are you a request? Get uh, the male summer garb. Let's hear the results. See if you successfully fed the hungry cat. That is a great relief. Thank you. I can feel the relief in in very the very cockles of my heart. I, I hope it prospers forever and ever. Alright, there we go. So now uh we just let me just save very real well. quick because I haven't saved in a, in a good while. This person, I don't think we saved in a while. Oh, yeah, an hour. Good day. Hey, uh, let's go out. I've been Hi. waiting for you. I've been waiting for you to ask. Shall we be on our way? Flowing stairs that pose an obstacle to those who dare to reach another floor. So, this is an escalator. A simple contraption at first glance, but one false step will leave one mired in an exhausting ordeal. To all customers, for your own safety and the safety of others, please do not move in the opposite direction of the escalators. Thank you. I think she was talking about you. <laughs> oh my. It seems that these customers may come to harm. We'd best exercise caution ourselves. And what is this? Please watch your step. There is a pitfall just ahead. Uh, where is it? Why, it's right over here. There, in the center of this fenced-off area. It's marked with eye-catching signs, proclaiming in bold print, Do not enter. Humans are frequently drawn to what has been forbidden. This is a crafty snare, one that defies the common notion that pitfalls must be hidden. Flowing stairways, pitfalls employing high-level psychological tactics. Human authorities truly go to great lengths in their quest to preserve the town's law and order. I 
I'm very moved by their dedication to the cause. Let us carry on. Our thoughts with the unsung heroes who give their love and lives to this town. Tantalizing fragrance. Can it be? Whoa! You can figure out our secret ingredient with just a whiff? I guess you got a funky sense of smell to go with your funky sense of style, lady. Well, there ain't a law saying takoyaki shops can't cook other stuff besides octopus. So, how about it? Want to buy some? I swear my takoyaki's so good it'll make your jaw drop. Cuisine so scrumptious that one's jaw can drop off? I imagine that would warrant urgent medical care, realistically speaking. But I would very much like a taste. Unfortunately, this is all I have on me at the moment. I do hope this is sufficient. It's not that expensive, though. <laughs> no need to console me. My curiosity far exceeds any monetary. Oh, I see. Upon closer inspection, a single serving is only 400 yen. <sighs> Well, well then, two orders of your finest takoyaki, please. Thanks. Here you go. And come again. This distinct texture, the firm, chewy skin, there's no doubt about it. I must say, I'm surprised to see this used as a cooking ingredient. How's your jaw? <laughs> it has yet to even unhinge. But for the better, I suppose. There are many other delicacies I must try. It wouldn't do to lose my jaw before sampling each and every one of them. There appear to be several dining establishments around here. We must simply visit all of them. My first priority is to go to something called a net cafe, where one may use something called a soda fountain. This apparatus allows for an infinite combination of flavors by mixing various solutions. Just thinking about it gives me a sort of electric tingle across my tongue. <sighs> I see. My, oh my. Oh, how intriguing. God. <laughs> Ugh, I'm feeling too good. We appear to have exhausted every dining option in this area. Oh dear, is something the matter? I don't feel so good. Now that I think about it, you haven't eaten much since our seventh meal. Yeah, because we're not supposed to have that much. <laughs> in any event, I must thank you for your delightful company. I shall certainly savor this experience. Oh. You, you, you got Pepto Bismol. Because I definitely got need it. <laughs> if you don't mind, I'd very much appreciate it if you were to escort me again sometime. Well, uh, we're definitely not eating next time. All right. <laughs> well, I return to the bedroom with, with Elizabeth.
Well, uh, that's done. Thank you for your thank you for earlier. Now then, how may I be assistance? Uh, yeah, we did a thing. So, uh, what could the ancients? Let's hear the results. Yep, thank you for showing me around uh, Iwatodai Station. The fascinating rides, the dangerous traps, and of course the cornucopia of unique cuisine. Marvelous. The way people went about their lives there was quite different from those at Polonia Mall the other day. So that I might not forget what we saw. I'd like to recreate some of the dishes we sampled. <laughs> First, I must hunt for the ingredients. <laughs> this will be so much fun. Please take this as your reward. Book of the Ancients. Okay. With the acquisition of the Book of the Ancients, you can now fuse Thoth. Oh, great. The one who measures time. Great. Alright, so there's that. Um, I was, man, I was about to bring up something, but it totally left on my mind. But, uh, hmm, well, I'm hanging out with the, the Sumitsu to finally finish off the social link. Oh. Alright, so let's do it. Um, really? So, about last time, uh... Let's go to Hagakure! The restaurant is filled with the familiar smell of fish. My younger brother and I were twins. But not the kind that looked the same. He was the better looking one. Everyone called me the uglier Suimitsu. He always compared me to him. And I can never beat him in anything. There was a time when I used to hit him for no reason. But even then, he still treated me like a brother. Then in middle school, we bought steamed buns, and then he died. Food poisoning. Damn. They said the meat was undercooked. Just his bun, though. Not mine. I mean, even from food poisoning, like, I would expect, you know, just like, you know, wobbling stomach coming out the end, but... Okay, yeah, a little bit throw up. I haven't had food poisoning in a long while. I think, no wait, I think it was either 2021 that I think had like food poisoning, but uh, I don't even know if that's considerate, but. Uh. But I couldn't even cry. I actually felt relieved. I thought maybe they'll all finally stop laughing at me. That's understandable. Thanks, but I know already. I was a terrible brother. At first, I tried to be more like him. I went to cram schools and did martial arts and everything. But I could never be as good, and eventually, I started to feel like people were laughing at me. The only time I feel safe is when I'm eating. All that matters is what's in front of me. And everything else melts away. See? That's what the Gourmet King really is. I only eat to run away from my problems. But if I keep this up, I'll never be able to replace my brother. Will I? Just be yourself. Be myself? 
be myself. Is that really how it is? Pretty much, yeah, yeah. Being yourself. I hear you. You're right. I can never be like my brother. We're two different people. How did I miss something so obvious? <laughs> I can be pretty dumb sometimes. Thank you. Really, thank you so much. Sumitsu truly appreciates me. I feel like our relationship is stronger. I am thou. Thou art I. The bond thou hast nurtured hath finally matured. The innermost power of the Moon Arcana hath been set free. We now bestow upon thee the ultimate form of the moon within thyself. Rank up! Rank 10! Max! The moon social link has reached its maximum level. You can now fuse Sandalphon, the deliverer of prayers. Oh, I know this is sudden, but I'm relieving you of your duties as the Gourmet King's Royal Guard. You're fired. Because you're the new king. All hail Gourmet King the Second! Hey, cool. Gourmet license. The restaurants in the strip mall gave this to me because of how often I eat there. I feel like I've been fake all this time. But one day, I will become the true gourmet king. I think I'll become a food critic. It'll be my job to eat. I'm gonna become a food master. Then when I die and go to the afterlife, I can face my brother. And then I can tell him I was the best at something for once in my life. So until I reclaim my crown, you can hang on to it. I may have lost my title, but someday I'll make my grand return as Gourmet King the Third. That's my promise to you. And to my little brother. Huh. I've been talking so much about my brother, but... I'm okay. My memories didn't make me sad and hungry this time. Yeah, like his whole thing, like... His whole social thing is just like... I was dealing with his, you know... His brother's death. And just basically goes into him like... Just, uh... Grief eating. Anger eating. All that stuff. I never realized how good the ramen tastes here. But well, people just like, you know, just summer as like, oh, oh man, he's just a fat guy who just eats it. You no, know, he, he's such a bad social link. When it all comes to point to, to here. He's, he's, he's such a bad social link because he's fat and he eats a lot. Uh. After Sumitsu finished bowl after bowl of ramen, I went back to the dorm. Another social link down. Welcome back. Hi, how was your day? I'm doing all right, Fuka. Uh, let's see here. The wait is over. The weekend. The wacky weekend is here. Ooh. Hey, Featherman R. Uh, 
All right, let's see here. Uh, Wakatsu, sure. Okay, that's the end of the month. I believe uh should be the 16th. Huh. I wonder where is everyone? Uh, Junpei. Now listen here. Oh, he's trying to study. Uh, Akiko's the one all the way over here, right? He's signed there. Uh, huh. Okay, so they're probably stunning, right? So Fuka's down there. Uh, Hikari? Hey, so... Is there something you believe in? Something that even when everything is terrible, even betrayed by everyone doesn't shake your convention uh I'm not sure Sorry. it's probably not really a fair question huh oh just really feeling it huh yo i'm looking at mitsu's room bro she has the largest room in in, in here god dang like she she takes up this entire area now, well, yeah, of course, this place used to be, you know, a hotel, but still, this is the largest room. Oh, not even, like, the boys' room, like, has that. Yeah, like, it's just it's five rooms. Dang. Dang, Mitsu, you get the biggest room out of out of everyone. Uh, yeah, but we should really try to, uh, do some more, uh... Get some more, more of the smarts in, smartness in. So let's just uh, do just that. Yeah, let's get the full course. All right, the seafood. So yep, yep. Uh, just do the thing. Nope. Dark hour time. It's good to see you again. It's not even a week before. Why are you like you're like more than three weeks early? <laughs> How long has it been since we first met? Time passes so quickly. So tell me, how's life as a Persona user? Uh, something's missing. I wonder what. I hope you find it soon. I remembered something else about the coming of the end. It all stems from something that took place many years ago. Ten years ago, if I remember correctly. Oh. Didn't your parents pass away about ten years ago? Oh, wow. Just had to bring that up, huh? That's great. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> the trauma. <laughs> a persona is like a mirror. Which means... A Persona user can never escape their true self. But no matter what, I won't leave you. Because we're friends, right? Oh, got that bond growing. Hey, rank three for that. That's great. Good night. 